All right, guys, wanted to give a little walk around of the new toy puller, toy hauler, whatever we want to call it, Mega Ram. It's a 2007 Dodge Ram 3500 Mega Cab with a 6.7 Cummins Turbo Diesel. Um, it's an X SEMA show truck. Obviously, it's, you know, old and dated and whatever by today's standards it's a pretty pretty dream truck for me but so i just wanted to go over a few things add it to the channel um it's on an eight inch lift 38 inch tires 15 and a half inches wide 20 inch rims <clears throat> Fender flares, custom hood, tinted taillights, fusion bumpers front and rear, power slider, it's a Laramie edition, so it's got basically anything and everything that a truck could have back then, um, different grill, like I said, different hood, paint to match basically everything um, where I'm gonna start out with this I think is it's got quite a bit of different you know rigid lights it's got um, amber cubes regular cubes two light bars and then back behind the grill it's got some like red and blue colored lights um, water methanol injected it's got a tuner got a, a cold air intake I'll get a little deeper into things as we go but I kind of wanted to give everybody a, a little rundown of it um, this truck is in no way perfect or brand new or anything like that but it's got some really cool features and I plan on adding more to it and I think it's gonna be a pretty neat truck for building. I mean, it's got a, a lot of nice stuff, like I said already. Amp steps, it's 100% rust free. Like I said, sunroof, leather, heated. <clears throat> got the gauge packages, water methanol injection controller. This is a passport uh, radar detector, which doesn't mean a whole lot to me, but. All custom dash, all painted to match. Black Max tuner. It's got uh, airbags in the back with the controller in the cab. Like I said, it's a pretty neat truck, and the cab is huge. Um, I've been kind of looking for a mega cab on and off for a while. Just with having the four boys, you need something with a big back seat. Well. The back seat on this is mega. Um, seats flip down, so there's actually room. Right now, it's a sub and amp, a big custom system in the back. I'm actually gonna pull that out. I'm not. Don't really need that right at the moment. Um, it's got a hydraulic tonneau cover, which is kind of cool. So you push a button in the cab, and the tonneau cover lifts up. Kind of a useless feature for a truck to me, just because. If I can't haul nothing in the box of it, which again, it's tall, but um, at least I can put stuff in the box if I want, but with a tunnel cover, a hard one, it kind of defeats the purpose of the whole, I have a truck thing. So that'll probably end up getting taken off, but for the winter months, I'll probably, <coughs> excuse me, probably leave it on just because it'll be a nicety, you know, keep the snow off of it and stuff out of it when we go north. I won't have to worry about, um, you know, things getting filled up and full of snow and whatever else. So I'll kind of show you what we got going on underneath the hood. <clears throat> so it's got the 6.7 air aid, cold air intake. It's all, all the stuff uh, you don't want on has been taken care of. Anybody that knows their diesels. So 
some stuff fell off in Mexico. So that's a good thing. Like I said, these are those lights. It's got a Banks intercooler. And it's a monster, it closed the hood. So like I said, first things I'm looking at, the headlights are starting to show a little bit of age. Obviously from 2007, if anyone's driven. A fairly new vehicle. The new headlights, LEDs and HIDs and such are pretty impressive. And I do quite a bit of night driving, so. Um, Prodigy reservoir shocks all the way around. <coughs> He's underneath of the truck. One thing is that, you know, these uh, control arms, they're not really real bad rusty, but they, you know, the paint flakes off. And so I'll probably end up taking all the bracketry and stuff off and uh, powder coating it and getting it all sandblasted. <clears throat> it's got five inch Pro Flow exhaust. It's got a one piece drive shaft. These mega cabs usually come with a two-piece drive shaft like I said trucks 100% rust free southern vehicle which is what I was looking for I wasn't looking for something necessarily quite this big but the opportunity presented itself I figured uh, why not I was gonna put some sort of a lift in it it probably wouldn't have been an 8 inch on 38s but here it is and I like it I'll turn the lights on so everybody can see what that looks like. I guess that's pretty neat. 07 style, but uh, you can tell whoever built it for SEMA. I guess I'll go into all the details and stuff if anybody wants to know those, but whoever built this thing originally for SEMA, there's a whole lot of stuff that for 07 was, you know, pretty cutting edge at the time. Gauges are lit, obviously. M steps. So you got the cubes, the white cubes, yellow cubes, smoked cab lights. Light bars. They're pretty cool. Pretty neat rig. Everybody let me know your thoughts, what I should do, where I should start. Um, like I said, I'm probably gonna update lighting to start with, I'm thinking. Headlights, taillights, just something that looks a little more modern. A little bit brighter. Tires and wheels are new. I'm not 100% positive on these 15 five wides. They look completely killer. And I mean, they're, I don't know if the camera is really projecting that, but they're massive. Um, axle dump exhaust. Like I said, this is a one ton, so all the beef is there for doing anything and everything I'd possibly want to do as big as this is. Um, it's gonna pull my trailer with the general and four wheelers or anything else I want to put in it. Should have zero issues toting that trailer around. So like I said, put in the comments what you think I should do with it first. If there's anything that anybody would like to see. I wanna try and make it a cool build or add on to the build that's already existing. But I really like the truck so far. 